Hi everyone and welcome back. Optolong sent me this filter for free to test it out and review it. I already made the review and I decided to make another video to show the test that I made on the full moon and I did image two nebulas. Messier 16, the Eagle Nebula and Messier 27, the also known as the Dumbbell Nebula. Until having this filter, I was avoiding imaging on the full moon using the L enhanced filter. I'll show you also how the moon looked that night. You'll be able to see all these tests are, are real and to decide for yourself if this filter would be good for you. And now let's begin the test. This is the setup SkyMax 127 at 1500 millimeters focal length with Altair 26C Hypercam and the Optolong L Ultimate one quarter of an inch size. I want to test today on the Eagle Nebula. We have full moon, it's currently rising. We will be able to see it soon. There is the full moon rising. It's not up yet, but it will be higher and higher. This is the time to find our nebula and to get ready to start the plan. And we'll open Nina. We'll center the moon and see uh, if we need to adjust the focuser. First, let's find the moon and we'll connect focuser and telescope and guider. Okay, unpark. And let's see here if you can see the moon. I think we need to go more at west. Let's see. Okay, and I think it's somewhere here. Yes, and we can see the moon. We'll go in Nina and connect the camera. Imaging. Okay, and here is the moon. So let's recenter. So you see, we almost get the full moon. So let's take a snapshot. Now we'll, we open Serarium, we'll search for Messier 16, Eagle Nebula. We'll go and configure telescopes, select Skywatcher, connect, and select current object, and slew. We'll check if it's slewing. We'll go place solving and try binning 2 by 2 Exposure time, 15 seconds but a step felt. It's harder to place solve with the filter, so if it still cause problems, I'll go and remove it. Now with the same settings, we try another exposure without Dr. Long L Ultimate. And we should see more stars, and maybe it will place off. We will try. Yes, so you can see now the difference. If you're using place solving, do it without a strong filter like this one. And after that, go and place the filter. If you focus before, without the filter, you might need to make a few adjustments, but should be fast. Okay, now we see so many stars here. We place solve, and Stellarium should have corrected for the position. So here it is. We'll go and slow. So this is 30 seconds exposure without the L ultimate. In 100, meaning 2 by 2. We'll use the same settings. You can see these gradients and light pollution from the moon. We cannot see the nebula here anywhere. Ah, it says we are in the right position here. Let's minimize this, okay, and go place the filter. And now it comes the image with the Optolongel Ultimate, one quarter of an inch size. Let's see. Look at this difference. So you see, it was actually on the corner. I saw some shape there in the corner, but I wasn't sure. Place solving was not correct, so we need to do it again or to move it manually. Let's see if we can see these stars. This one needs to be here. Okay, so to move it, I think we need to go more on, more on west. Without the filter, we cannot see much. First, I didn't see anything. I couldn't uh, see that the nebula was on the corner. I saw something, but I couldn't see that it was a nebula. There is the moon and the telescope was pointing somewhere in this direction, very close. We will use here this measurement tool. I think this one, yeah. And 
go from Eagle Nebula to the Moon. Let's see how much. To the center of the Moon is about 20 degrees. To be able to image a 20 degrees distance from the Moon is just amazing. It's really amazing. This is the Eagle Nebula without any filter, Porta Sky 4 with the full Moon close. Let's take another test shot with the Optolong L Ultimate one quarter of an inch on. And wow, look at this difference. From nothing we can see now in the details the nebula in 30 seconds exposures. You can see the H alpha color here. You can see the reds from the H alpha wavelength and it's just incredible. I think that is definitely better than the Optolong L Enhance and L Extreme because you can get this contrast with the other filters under full moon when where the nebula is so close. Really impressed with the single exposures of four minutes and I'll place also links in the description with the filter if you want to check the product. And here is the image stacked of less than two hours integration time with the Eagle Nebula Messier 16 taken under full moon. We can see a lot of beautiful details and color in the H alpha emission line. I was really pleased with the results that I got on this image using the Optolong L Ultimate filter. I'm using the Optolong L Ultimate to capture now the Dumbbell Nebula under the full moon. Also, you can see here 5 inch Maxot of Telescope and my Altair 2060 Hypercam. Now I've changed the target from the Eagle Nebula to Dumbbell Nebula. We have it higher, and if no clouds, we'll be able to get some nice details. However, time is short because it will be morning soon. So this is with full moon without filter. And now we will see with the filter. Look, what a difference. Okay, so it looks very good at 30 seconds compared without the filter. It's just amazing. And this is another test of 300 seconds exposure with Messier 27 and the L Ultimate filter. Without the filter, we cannot see the nebula but with the l ultimate we see very clear the details and the colors in messier 27. looking at the contrast that i was able to get i was really amazed and how the light gradients just disappeared well guys these were my results using the l ultimate filter under the full moon and I was really impressed with the sky contrast that I was able to get. And from now on, using the L Ultimate, I will be able to get good quality astrophotography even with the full moon. And I think this is very important because if you don't have a lot of uh, clear nights, and it happens to have clear nights when you have the moon high in the sky or the full moon, and you have a lot of light pollution. Or if you are in an area or a city that is very light polluted, then the L Ultimate can save you and get good quality images. Considering it's under 300 US dollars, I think this is a good investment. A couple of years ago, we uh, didn't have this option, but now we do. And the final question is, do I recommend this filter? And my answer is yes. It's a good filter that it will give you very good contrast images and it will allow you to get good astrophotography results also under the full moon. I will share the results also for the channel membership so members that will join and support the channel will be able to have access to the data that I obtain with the L Ultimate filter. I hope uh, you find the video useful and if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like the video and if you are new don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon in uh, more astrophotography reviews and tutorials and until next time clear sky and stay safe